Western Ganga literature Kannada, Paschima Ganga Sahitya refers to a body of writings created during the rule of the Western Ganga dynasty, a dynasty that ruled the region historically known as Gangavadi modern southern Karnataka, India between the 4th and 11th centuries. The period of their rule was an important time in the history of South Indian literature in general and Kannada literature in particular, though many of the writings are deemed extinct. Some of the most famous poets of Kannada language graced the courts of the Ganga kings. Court poets and royalty created eminent works in Kannada language and Sanskrit language that spanned such literary forms as prose, poetry, Hindu epics, Jain Tirthankaras saints, and elephant management. <laughs> Kannada writings The prose piece of Chavundaraya, who was a famous Ganga minister and army commander, known as Chavundaraya Purana or Trishashtilakshana Mahapurana written in 978 CE, is an early existing work in the genre in Kannada and is a summary of the Sanskrit writings, Adipurana and Uttarapurana, written by Jinasena and Gunabhadra during the rule of Rashtrakuta Amogavarsha I. The prose, composed in lucid Kannada, was meant mainly for the common man and avoided any reference to complicated elements of Jain doctrines and philosophy. In his writing, the influences of his predecessor Atakavi Pampa and contemporary Rana are seen. The work narrates the legends of 24 Jain Tirthankaras, 12 Chakravartis, 9 Balabhadras, 9 Narayanas, and 9 Pratinarayanas, narrations on 63 Jain proponents in all. This writing states that along with the Tirthankaras, their mothers were also worshipped, particularly by women. The worship of Vaishravana, the keeper of celestial treasure, was for acquiring moral and religious merit. Punya, the worship of Dharnendra was for acquiring sons and of Sridevi for warding off influences of evil deities. The author eulogizes his preceptor Ahitasena Munindra thus. He removes the stain of karma and awakens the spirit of those close to him Aptavarga. he astonishes rival disputants and secures the goddess of liberation to those desiring it. O Bhavya, worship the lotus feet of Ahidasena Munindra with a pure mind. The earliest known Kannada writer from this dynasty is King Durvinita of the 6th century. Kavirajamarga of 850 CE refers to him as an early writer in Kannada prose. It is claimed that the name Durvinita is found only in Kavirajamarga and Western Ganga inscriptions prior to the Magadhi inscription of 966. This according to historians is proof enough that the Durvinita mentioned in Kavirajamarga is the Western Ganga king, Gunavarma I, the Kannada epic writer authored Shudraka and Harivamsha, also known as Naminatha Purana, the earliest known Purana in Kannada, around 900 CE. His works are considered extinct but are found referenced in later years. He is known to have been patronized by King Araganga Nidamarga II in late 9th century, early 10th century. In his writing Shudraka, the author has favorably compared his patron to King Shudraka of ancient times. The great Kannada poet Rana who was also a soldier by training, who along with Sri Pana and Adhikavi Pampa are considered the three gems of Kannada literature, was patronized by Chavundaraya, the Ganga minister in his early literary days. Rana's classic Parashurama Charite which is considered extinct may have been a eulogy of his patron who held such titles as Samara Parashurama. Rana later went on to become the poet laureate of Western Chalukya kings Tilapa II and Satishraya, Nagavarma I, a Brahmin scholar who came from Vengi in modern Andhra Pradesh late 10th century was also patronized by Chavundaraya. He wrote Chandambudi Ocean of Prosody addressed to his wife. This is considered the earliest available Kannada writing in prosody. His other existing writing, Karnataka Kadambari written in sweet and flowing shampoo style a composition written in a mixed prose-verse style has found popularity with critics and is based on an earlier romance in Sanskrit by poet Bana. Gajashtaka a, hundred verses, a work on elephant management, known to have been written by King Shivamara II around 800 CE, is now considered extinct. Other writers from the close of the 10th century whose names are known are Manasiga and Chandrabhata. Sanskrit writings This was the age of classical Sanskrit literature. From the earliest times, Western Ganga kings showed a strong inclination towards the fine arts. King Madhava II brother of King Vishnugopa wrote a treatise Dataka Sutravriti on an earlier work on erotics by a writer called Dataka. 
To King Durvinita is ascribed the Sanskrit version of Vadakatha, a commentary on Panini's grammar called Sabdavathara and a commentary on the 15th chapter of a Sanskrit work called Kiratarjunaya by poet Bharavi who was in King Durvinita's court. King Sripurusha wrote a treatise on elephants called Gajashastra and King Shivamara II is known to have written Gajamata Kalpana. Hemasena, also known as Vidya Dhanajaya authored Raghava Pandavya, a narration of the stories of Rama and the Pandavas simultaneously through puns. His pupil Vadivasimha wrote in prose Gayachintamani and Shatrachudamini based on poet Banas Kadambari and minister Chavundaraya wrote Charitarasara. <laughs> Notes <laughs>